Differentiation and positioning is the third stage of creating a customer value driven marketing strategy. After you targeted the market and after you segmented the market into smaller segments, now it is time to decide your positioning strategy and your differentiation strategy for your product. So far that means that you've decided which are the possibilities, the segments that you can serve. And in market targeting, you decided on which segments you will focus to serve. Well, right now, in the third stage, you will decide on the value proposition and differentiation. Basically, you will decide how to gain competitive advantage from your competitors and how to be positioned in the mind of your consumers. When we talk about differentiation, we talk about competitive advantage. We talk about value proposition. We answer the question of the consumers, why should we buy your product? Why shouldn't we buy from your competitors? Well, that is solved with differentiation and positioning. And in this video, we talk everything you need to know about it. Let's first discuss about positioning. A product position is the way a product is defined by consumers on important attributes. The place that product occupies in consumers' minds relative to competing products. It is important to understand and to remember that positioning is positioning the image of your product or of your company in the mind of your customer. So it is not about positioning the product on the shelf, positioning the product on the market. It is about how you want your consumers, how you want the population to think about your product or about your company. Usually because it is quite hard to design a positioning and differentiation strategy, marketeers used what is called a perceptual positioning map. This map shows the perception of consumers on brands versus those of competitors on two important buying dimensions. In this specific map, we look at large luxury SUVs indicating luxury versus performance. The size of each circle indicates the brand's relative market share. While the Escalade is a balance of luxury and performance, it probably means power and safety performance. By contrast, the Range Rover and the Land Cruiser are positioned on luxury with nuances of off-road performance. Now that you understand positioning, it is time to go further to differentiation and positioning strategy. Of course, because in business, we cannot forget about competitors and it would be quite a big problem if one of your competitors would go for the same positioning. So therefore, each firm, each company must build a unique bundle, a unique value proposition we call about the benefits that can appeal and all the benefits it can provide the segments it targeted with. The differentiation and positioning task consists of three steps. Identifying a set of differentiating competitive advantages on which to build a position, choosing the right competitive advantage and selecting an overall positioning strategy. The company must then communicate its chosen position to the market. A competitive advantage is an advantage over competitors gained by offering greater customer value, either by having lower prices or providing more benefits that justify higher prices. In order to find points for differentiation, marketeers or any company needs to think about the entire journey, the entire customer experience with that product. They need to think about variables starting from delivering the package, how customer receives the package, how they use the product, when they use the product, if they would be satisfied with the product and how they will end their life with that product. You need to think about the entire experience the customer will have so you can see where you can improve and find advantages that your competitors didn't. Through product differentiation, brands can be differentiated on features, performance or style and design. A company can differentiate along the lines of product, channels, people or image. Some companies gain services differentiation through speeding, convenient or careful delivery. Channel differentiation can be gained through the way they design their channels coverage, expertise and performance. Companies can also gain a strong competitive advantage through people differentiation, hiring and training better people than their competitors do, and image differentiation should be developed 
full products, distinctive benefits and positioning. Now that you know which aspects to look at when building competitive advantage, what you need to do is to discuss which ones to choose and to put in front of your competitors. So suppose that a company or that you as a marketeer identified several points that you can improve, so several competitive advantages. Well, you cannot go out and scream, hey, I am so much better than you, because, well, you will seem cocky. So what competitors don't do is doing that. You need to only choose few aspects, few competitive advantages, and you will go with that. You will build your image and reputation based on those variables and going on, well, we will see now how to distinguish them, how to select them, and how to choose the best competitive advantage to base your strategies on. One interesting thing, you might have heard about unique value proposition or unique selling point. Well, that is when a company identifies multiple differentiations from their competitors, so multiple advantages, competitive advantages, but marketeers decide to only focus on one. That is a strategy that is widely used nowadays. However, let's have a closer look at which differences we want to promote. It should be important the difference delivers a highly valued benefit to target buyers. It should be distinctive. Competitors do not offer the difference or the company can offer it in a more distinctive way. Superior, the difference is superior to other ways that customer might obtain the same benefit. It should be communicable. The difference is communicable and visible to buyers. Preemptive, competitors cannot easily copy the difference affordable, buyers can afford to pay for the difference, and profitable, the company can introduce the difference profitable. By choosing the right competitive advantages, when you do the positioning strategy, you will gain a massive advantage in front of your competitors. And you should do that to stand out from the pack because in any market there will be a lot of you. So far you've probably been working on identifying competitive advantages that you can leverage in order to gain an advantage, well, a benefit for your customers and to stand out from the pack of competitors that you have in your market. Well, it is time now to design the value proposition and positioning strategy, but before that, let's remember what the value position, what the value proposition is. The full positioning of a brand, the full mix of benefits on which it is positioned, it answers the customer's question, why should I buy from your brand? For example, BMW says you should buy it because they create the ultimate driving machine. This figure shows all possible value propositions on which a company might position its products. There are five green cells representing the win value proposition, differentiation and positioning that give the company a competitive advantage, and the pink cells represent losing value proposition. The orange one represents at best a marginal value proposition. So to make it clear, through your value proposition, you say what you offer to your customers. Maybe you can do more for more. So you can do better advantages, better benefits, better products, better quality, better delivery times, a better package for a better, so a bigger price. That is more for more, for example. And of course, you might want to do that if you are targeting a luxury segment. But in the case you want to do, well, not that much, you can go in less for less, which is still winning strategy because everybody will give up on some of the advantages to buy it at a lower price. So let's now see and examine each strategy that works in detail. More for more involves providing the most upscale product or service and charging a higher price to cover the higher costs. It offers not only higher quality but also prestige to the buyer. It symbolizes status and loftier lifestyle. For example, the Rolex watches, the Starbucks coffee, the Mercedes automobiles. Although more for more can be profitable, this strategy can also be very vulnerable. It often invites imitators who claim the same quality but at a lower price. More for the same involves a company that can attack a competitor's value proposition by positioning its brand as offering more for the same price. Example is Target, which positions itself as the upscale discounter claiming to offer more in terms of store, atmosphere, service, stylish merchandise, and classy brand image but at prices comparable to those of Walmart. The same for less can be powerful value proposition. Everyone likes a good deal. 
Example are discount stores such as Walmart and Best Buy. They claim to offer different or better products while they actually offer many of the same brands as department or specialty store but at deep discounts. Other companies develop imitative but lower prices brands in an effort to lure customers away from the market leader. Less for much less is few people need, want or can afford the very best in everything they buy. Consumers will gladly settle for less than optimal performance or give up some of the advantages in charging for a lower price. The positioning involves meeting consumers' lower performance or quality expectations or requirements at a much lower price. For example, are the Family Dollar or Dollar General Stores or Costco. And finally, more for less. It is obviously the winning value proposition. Most of the companies claim to do this and in a short run some companies actually achieve such a lofty position. For an example, when it first opened, Home Depot had arguably the best product selection, best service and the lowest prices compared to other hardware stores. However, in the long run, such companies have a hard time sustaining such positioning because offering more usually costs more and making it difficult to deliver it for less. This was everything you need to know about differentiation and positioning. Remember that this is only the last step of the wider topic of building and designing a competitive customer value driven marketing strategy. In the first phase, you want to do market segmentation, then you do market targeting and only then you come up with positioning and differentiation, which is based on competitive advantage and value proposition. You can watch all these videos in the links down below in the description. Some of them will show up in the info cards and I will see you at the next video. Before going on to check my channel for other videos about marketing and communications, I want to tell you something that if you are an entrepreneur, you manage a company or you sell products, then you want to check the links down in the description below because I've created something to help you. In the description below, you will find a manual for designing a marketing program, a communication program and an overall by the book business plan for your business. There is a step-by-step -step guide with all the information you need and all the information you need to understand for creating a marketing plan, a communication strategy and a business plan in order to start up with your company. If you want to check that, go in the description below and it will be the biggest favor you will make yourself. Remember that you can also support me in the classical ways of liking the video, subscribing to the channel and please leave a comment down in the description below because it helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Of course, you can buy me a coffee. I drink quite a lot of coffee to create these videos for researching the information, filming the videos, editing the videos so you can watch them for free. So I would highly appreciate that. There is a link down in the description for that. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you at the next video.